Another good use case for this tweak is to open the YouTube and play it in the background as you're smashing that like button on this video. going on guys today I'm going to show you guys 10 tweaks that are compatible with the brand new uncovered jailbreak that supports iOS 13.5 on every single device so with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into the video all right if we take a look at my lock screen you can see I got a couple tweaks running uh, this live wallpaper that you're seeing is framed that was in my last video however that's not the tweak I'm going to be talking about so right here we have complications and basically what it will do, it will add a bunch of Apple Watch style complications to your lock screen. So if we go ahead and jump into the settings of this tweak, you can go ahead and adjust the number of rows, number of columns, the shape of them, the light and the dark mode in order to adjust what you want. So if you go ahead and long hold on it, these are all of the different complications that you can set so there's a bunch for like weather wallet your phone you can set specific applications there your activity tracker from your apple watch you can also add a bunch of different complications i just think that four looks the best anyways guys this tweak costs 199 but I think it is absolutely worth it because it just looks so clean on your lock screen and you can get a quick glance of notifications or weather or whatever it is that you want to quickly glance at. If you go ahead and tap on it, it will open up into whatever application or whatever complication that you have set. And as you can see, I do have a theming system for my messages which is the next week that we are going to talk about and that one is called dope combos so if we go ahead and jump into the settings of that tweak we got dope combos right here this tweak probably deserves a video by itself just because there is just too many customizations to go over in one single video but pretty much any aspect of your messages app you can just go ahead and customize to your heart's desire you can also import customizations that other people have already created. I suggest looking on Reddit to import different customizations that people have already created for dope combos. I just did a quick little one with the gray and the red. But anyways, guys, that one is called Dope Convos. Definitely worth a download. I believe this one is also $1.99. All right, guys, this next one is a brand new tweak called Dane. I believe that's how it's pronounced. But if we go ahead and jump into the settings of this tweak, it basically just adjusts the notifications appearance to look a little cleaner, in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and set it to light so that it's easier to see. We're going to go ahead and test the banner. So this is kind of what it looks like when you pull down it has the ios 9 looking notification which i personally liked a lot better with the send button right here you can just go ahead and tap send and it'll send a reply to that message but this does theme every single notification that comes in so if there is a reply option you can just drop it down and reply straight from there you can also enable a tiny banner, so if we go ahead and test that one out, it'll make it a little bit smaller, a little bit more out of the way. You can still do your quick reply. There's also theming options right here. Auto will just be depending on if you are in a light or dark mode. If we go into appearance options, there are some customizations that you can make to the radius of the banner itself the icon size font settings you can adjust how big you want the font profile pictures you can go ahead and for these specific apps you can enable the profile pictures so if you're getting messages on instagram it will pull down their image right next to the text but it's a really nice clean looking notification center 
and like I said before I prefer this reply over the current iOS so I'm going to be using this on my personal device right. we got to get those troll tweaks in there so you already know I've downloaded and tested troll drop and yes I can confirm that it is working on iOS 13.5 However, I would set it to at least one second because if you set it at zero seconds, sometimes it sends too fast and it will crash the application on your device. So if you set it to one second, you can go ahead and spam someone's phone with whatever image that you want. So if we go ahead and select an image, tap choose, this is what's going to be spammed to everyone's phone that has their airdrop on it is selected on everyone. So if we go ahead and look at my airdrop, most people leave it on everyone. So anyone in the room is going to get this airdrop every single second until you push stop. So once you push start trolling, it will go ahead and spam their phone with that. If you're interested in seeing it work in action, go ahead and check out my how to trick your friends with your jailbreak video. I will go ahead and leave it in the cards of this video right here. So check this little corner right here. Anyways, guys, that one is Troll Drop and it is working on iOS 13.5. So if we go back to the lock screen, this one is called Berry. It's very clean, very useful tweak. So say I wanna go right into Cydia, I just pick up the icon, drop it in these little lines down here and it'll automatically open up Cydia. So it's basically another lock screen shortcut that looks really clean. If we hop into the settings of this tweak, you can go ahead and adjust the colors of the lines individually. There's also a blending mode, which will take some of the colors from your wallpaper and make its own colors for the lines. But I think on my current wallpaper, the white lines look the cleanest. So I'm gonna be leaving it like that. Anyways, guys, that one is called Berry, and I do believe it is a paid tweak. However, it's worth the dollar or two that it costs. Right, moving right along, if we wanna go ahead and multitask on iOS, now we can on iOS 13.5. There is a tweak called Milky Way 2 that will allow you to have little multi windows all over your device. So say you want settings and say you want Cydia, all you need to do is go ahead to your task manager right here and long hold on whatever card that you want to multitask with. So if I do that, now I have three different cards. I got Cydia. They are all interactive windows that you can go ahead and scroll through and interact with. So this would be good if you're trying to watch a YouTube video while trying to browse a website. But anyways, guys, that one is called Milky Way 2. And the best thing about this tweak is it is absolutely free. So I will be leaving the repo down in the description. Don't miss out on it. For this next one, it's called Lights Out. And basically what it does is it uses the ambient sensor to determine what the brightness in the room is and it will auto adjust your light mode in dark mode. You can change the threshold. The threshold is basically determining how much light that the sensor is receiving. And if it is super bright in the room, then it will know to automatically change your device over into light mode or dark mode. So this is good if you have a custom wallpaper for your light mode and dark mode. I do have a dedicated video to this tweak along with custom wallpapers that will change with this tweak and I will also leave that video in the cards. So go ahead and check out that video. All right, the next tweak I have for you is Sorry Low Battery. This one is another troll tweak for if you are kind of low on battery, but there is someone who is lower than you on battery and there's only one charger that you guys gotta fight over. You can go ahead and install this tweak, enable it, and you can adjust what your battery level is. So if they are at 20%, you can be at 15%. Tap Confirm. Now you can show them, hey, my battery's at 15% you best be handing over that charger cord. Anyways, guys, this tweak is also in my tricking your friends with your jailbreak video. So once again, don't forget to check out that video, but I can confirm that this tweak is working on iOS 13.5 on all devices. Next tweak is called Egg Notch. I have reviewed this tweak and I can confirm that it is working on iOS 13.5. 
basically all it does is it rounds the top of where the notch is to make it look a lot cleaner I think it looks pretty cool you can also adjust the information up there in the notch such as the time the Wi-Fi the battery all of that stuff but I just think that it looks a lot cleaner than just having an actual notch on your device all this does is hide the notch and it is 100% free once again that one is called egg notch this next week is called copy log and it is a lifesaver I feel like Basically, it keeps a list of everything that you have copied down. So if you are trying to search for something, you can swipe up on your keyboard to activate it. And you can push this little star right here. It'll bring up your favorite snippets of things that you want to save to copy log. So a good use case for this would be your emails. If you have a bunch of different emails and you don't feel like typing it in all the time, you can go ahead and save it here to these snippets and just go ahead and input whatever it is so if you want to input something say we want to go to iOS Ninja we can go ahead and tap on this and it automatically pastes it in there now you can tap go and it'll bring you straight to iOS Ninja once again if you just swipe up on your keyboard say you want to save iOS Ninja to one of your favorites just go ahead and long click on it tap to favorites now if we tap on the favorites it is saved there so I tend to just like I said before save a bunch of emails so I don't have to continue retyping them in it is a paid tweak but in my opinion it's absolutely worth it there are a few customizations if you go into the settings such as how many snippets you want to save I feel like 60 is a lot I probably only save probably 10 or less but anyways guys this one's called copy log make sure you go ahead and check it out all right, and this last one that I have for you is called Dope Settings. It basically just changes your settings to all of these custom phrases, such as sounds is now noises, and do not disturb is self-explanatory. The actual settings you're looking for, that's the settings that we use the most to go ahead and make sure that all of our certificates are trusted. Anyways, guys, this one is just a fun little tweak that you can show off to your friends that one is called the dope settings and it is working on ios 13.5 and it is 100 percent free all right guys please go ahead and remember to smack that like button if you like the video if you love the video go ahead and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one